Oh. What happened there? Have you got? <laughs> you did like what have you got? I was right. really bad. <laughs> you, 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 you take a Stu from UAV Futures here and today, well, what we're going to be checking out, we're going to be looking at the buzz about the new Emacs Buzz Freestyle Bind and Fly. If you haven't seen part one, a little card should pop up there. Thank you very much, YouTube. But what this one is today, this is the fun stuff. This is where we get together with the boys, Grumpy Trev, I think we've got Tony out there as well, Granger. We show you some HD footage and if you want a quad that you can take out of the box, rip around and have a beautiful experience first time, well, definitely stay tuned. It is very, very easy to get set up, get flying. We'll show you what it looks like, and then I will sort of talk about the pros and cons and if this is going to be the right thing for you. So let's do it. Go have some fun with the Emacs Buzz in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field. Let's do it. The Emacs ba ba Buzz. The Emacs Buzz. We got the grumpy man himself. We got Tony, Jono, Granger. Cal's having a sleep in again. But yeah, let's do it. Find out the buzz about the buzz. Do some HD footage. See what the other boy thinks. And is this a good freestyle rig? All that sort of stuff. All righty, let's do it. Alrighty, here we go. Now, you're just going to have to bear with me because, look, Lord knows, I am not the greatest freestyle pilot in the world. I seem to stick, stick to track flying a lot more. But look at this thing. Imagine it going down a beach or somewhere really scenic. I feel like that's what this quad is going to be good at when you want to get nice footage. It's not so much crazy acrobatics or insane speed racing, but when you want to get nice footage going down a beach, maybe chasing a plane or doing something like that, that's where this quad is going to start to excel. The little bit of extra weight that it's got actually makes it for really smooth it's not battered around by the wind or anything like that so if you do have the locations and you just want to fly some nice scenic footage record it with your gopro this one I definitely think about checking it out but a few things to be warned as well i didn't like the gopro mount on the top it kept coming off all the time in all my crashes and i find that part a little bit annoying i much oh you can hear i'm trying to do some freestyle i don't know how well i'm actually going here but yeah i found the gopro mount to be coming off a fair bit uh, and the other part, you are going to notice that weight. So you're going to have shorter flight times and also don't expect an absolute rocket in the air. That's not what this is about. You're not going to be taking this thing to the races. It's heavier. It's got a wider frame. It's less aerodynamic than some of those ultralight races out there. It is quite durable. And when you put a GoPro on the top as well, it's not going to be the fastest quad you've ever seen. But what it does do well, and I think what it, you know, there is no quad that is perfect at everything. And this one, it's not trying to be the jack of all trades. It's going to try to, it's trying to be a nice cinematic sort, sort of style of quad that you can fly around get beautiful footage just go for long nice cruises that are uh, it's just going to look good when you're watching that GoPro back but you can see right here I did find it sucked the juice a little bit and I only just made it over the fence to get it home so right here running out of battery full throttle trying to get over the fence and just made it so anyway what we should do let's hand it over to Trev see what he thinks you did a cartwheel really well then <laughs> They do need a better um, GoPro solution, don't you reckon? Because this is just getting annoying. Every time. Yeah. Come on. Okie dokie, Tony, the best dressed man in FPV. Looking sharp today, the high tops, ripped jeans. Look at him, look out, ladies. But what we got here, it's the Emacs Buzz. So have you heard much about this? No, I have Actually, I saw your desk review on it the other day. Yep. Um, and the thing that stuck out, stuck out to me was the, the width of it. It seemed really wide on the bench. Um, in person, she feels quite heavy, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but it's a very substantial frame. What's, it looks like four mil arms yep. or something. Um, but yeah, a really wide top and bottom plate compared I, I to other... I think the reason it's wide on the top is because it's, there's also a 6S version as well. Right, So okay. a lot of people are sticking those thicker 6S packs yeah. on there. But I mean, I suppose you've got a, a GoPro on there which is making it a bit heavier. But look, it's really tidy. I like the, um, the the canopy at the front I like in the anodized. Um, they is it aluminium? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you like the Hawk Five? You've been playing that for quite yeah, a while. Yeah, I've got the Hawk Five down here. Over there, the green yeah, one. There it is. Yep. So got the Hawk Five. It's significant. Oh, it looks significantly bigger in the frame, um, which is good for a top mounting battery. So I'm guessing this is more for freestyle. Absolutely, that's yeah. just pure. It's, yeah. it's a pure freestyle frame. Yeah. So. so something with a bit more weight. It's not. For freestyle, it's probably not a bad thing to have. Right. Uh, get a bit more momentum. Um, Ready to uh, stick a pack on it and uh, have a go? Yeah, absolutely. Let's give it a go. All right. All right. So this is on Beta Flight 4, and it yep. feels really smooth. Much smoother than the rest of mine. Nice in the corners, and it's quick too. It's really smooth, Stuart. This is a stock tune. Yeah, it is, it is. Well, I'm not very smooth, am I? 
All right, talk to me, Tony. All right. I really like this. This is really smooth. It's got heaps of power. Um, I've just hit the floor. Oh! I've just oh. hit the floor. Oh. What happened there? Have you got... <laughs> Like, what have you done? Well, I was right. really bad. You've taken over Kel's. Uh, no, no, where's your um, turtle <laughs> mode? mode. Uh, well, hang on, just Jono's almost there, so I'll let him flip it's it. already up the right way. Like no, nah. nah. it bounces well, Stu. It's got, it's, do you know what? It's got heaps of. It's actually got heaps of power. It's a lot more than what I'm used to. So when I hit the throttle, it seems to just go exactly where it was. There wasn't a lot of. Um, Drifting out in the corners, so it's, it feels really locked in. That's Thanks, okay. Johnny. Sorry about that. Let's try, try, it, we'll try again. Yeah. All right. So yeah, yeah, it just feels really, really nice and flowy. Oh, I like this. Um, what do you think about the price for three hundred bucks? Three hundred? Yeah, US. Three hundred, ready, ready to go. That's. Uh, I mean, three hundred bucks is a lot of money anyway, but. I think for what you're getting, this looks to be really good. It's, the frame looks super solid. I um, certainly gave it its first crash and it haven't broken anything yet. So that's good. Um, but market it as a freestyle quad, yeah? Yeah. Who would you recommend it for? Somebody who likes to crash a lot. Probably like me, actually. I'm a bit of an expert in crashing. Um, it does feel heavy. I've just killed your battery for some reason. Um, no, I like it. I think it'd be great for flying around a band oak where you're likely to hit um, some hard surfaces. It's certainly very um, stocky frame compared to the others that we've been flying. The stock pids are much better than uh, what you used to give me, Stu. It's, it's very smooth. Right, really and, smooth in the corners. And who would you recommend it for? Uh, definitely a freestyle pilot who... Um, oh, I've, I've got to land. Hang on, hang on. I've just killed your battery. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, it's uh, very solid. I think um, somebody who wants to get into um, freestyle doesn't want to stuff around building a frame and and um, putting it all together and tuning it. It's got Beta Flight 4 on. Um, really super locked in on the corners and smooth. Um, right. I think it's nice. Really right. good. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. All righty, here he is. We got a treat for you people out there. The Grumpy Man GT. <laughs> about to get your buzz on buddy so this is the emacs buzz long story short I think the emacs hawk was for racing this is their freestyle version they're buying and fly well it looks very pretty <laughs> and you're meant to be able to open a bottle of beer with it apparently what do you think about that uh, just don't drink and fly guys <clears throat> it's worth too much lose too many quads what, yep. a, what a stupid f idea that is. yeah because you're just going to end up with all your some beer in your well look you've even got red the uh, arms. Yep. Yeah. Well, look, it looks nice. It's uh, well put together. It's uh, look typical Emacs. So uh, I don't think they've built anything that's really crappy. So uh, everything I've seen lately from those guys, or for a while now, has been really nice. Don't like the long antenna. A little bit smaller be nice. Front looks good. Feels heavy. Isn't that front nice? Good protection for the camera. Yeah, I think I do think you'd have to be <coughs> unlucky to to break that. Yeah. Tony didn't break it, so uh, <laughs> lucky yeah. Kel wasn't here, eh? Yeah. Look, you're missing out on Kel. Alrighty, Dev Trev, ready to rock and roll. I like the camera, nice colours. Do you want me to clean it? Is it dirty? No, after? it's okay. even after Tony flew it. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, oh, plenty of parts. I like it. <laughs> it's uh, very smooth. Sorry, Trev, I was yeah. watching your feed. I was enjoying it too. Okay, it's uh, look, it's very, very smooth. Oh, that's it's really nice. Uh, this is surprising me. I didn't expect this at all. Why? What do you mean? Uh, well, look, uh, to me, they haven't done a quad that's uh, like this before. Like a freestyle one. Like a freestyle, and they've done it right. Uh, this is really nice. It's just nice. It's. Very controllable. It's smooth as butter. I really like it. Who would you recommend this to? New beginner be all right because it's it's very very easy to fly. Looks very strong. The flame. I like the frame, but uh, the price is getting up there. I think. Yep. Uh, to me, you know, that's three hundred bucks, wasn't it? Yep. US. Yeah, that's US. You know, that's, that's about at the moment. That's about four hundred and twenty Australian. So.
so you'd want to be cashed up to buy one of these there's uh, probably a few alternatives out there but uh, look I, I do like it it's nice how's the tune oh it's excellent out of the box this thing is just hot. it's really nice I do like it it's like I said it's nice and pointy it's easy to fly it flips it rolls it does everything and it's just nice it's look the only thing I've flown better than this that's freestyle uh, lately is the uh, Armiton Mammut it's uh, but you know that's getting up there as well this I better land now it says land now yep. I think the battery's just about buggered Tony I'd like to point out I didn't crash it Cal I didn't crash it <laughs> yeah look I uh, I do like it okay it's very very smooth out of the box did you find it was heavy oh look it's heavy now yeah but no I didn't really I suppose a little bit. It didn't have as much grunt as some of the others, but I don't think that's going to worry a lot of people. It's a, it's a 1500 battery on there. Yep. Look, if you're new and you want to have a bit of fun, I don't reckon you can go wrong because great company um, and it's a really well built quad. All right, so Grumpy Trev performance out of 10. Look, performance, I give it a 9. And what about value for money for 300 US bucks? Value, look, I give this about a 7. Okay. Um, I just think it's. It is getting up there, but especially when some you can also get like the racing version, the Hawk, which I think is 220 or something. Yeah, so that is a bit of a difference. So, but uh, nice piece of kit anyway. All right, nice. Thanks, Trev. All right, Granger. Uh, look, we're going to do your hard and fast, dirty impressions on this bad boy. Then we're going to show some of your freestyle footage because you're a much better pilot than I am, and then wrap it up. So you ready? Well, right. okay, quick, sum this up. First impressions. Looks heavy. It's fat. It looks <laughs> alright. Um, it looks pretty pointless big, but we'll see how it goes. It looks pretty smooth. Ah, let's do it. Big train. Big train. Um, it definitely very smooth. I enjoy the smoothness of it. That's Beta Flight 4 doing its magic. You can feel the weight of it. It is pretty heavy. In the corners, it uh, feels like it just bulks down. Like that was full throw almost just hit the ground. I do like how there's no prop wash. It is very enjoyable to fly like that. You would get some good footage with this if you want to take it out for some cinematic shots. Um, Are you going to take it to a race? No, I'm definitely not going to take it to a race. <laughs> it's very heavy, um, so it makes it very hard to race with it. So I definitely wouldn't take it to a race personally. For $300 US also, I don't know, I just can't justify that price for this. It's That's pretty damn expensive. Yep, well, it's just crashed into a tree. Oh, oh and the and Granger just crashed. The battery's already done, apparently. So oh. the weight of it definitely kills the battery a lot quicker. I'm not a big fan of it, but there could be some people out there like All right, it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle. Uh, for me, I'm going to say thumbs down. Alright, nice. Thanks, Granger. No worries. Radio, so there it is. There's my part two review of the Emacs Buzz. And overall, there is some pros and there's also some cons when it comes to flying this thing around. Now, let's talk about the things I do love. I love that it is just a freestyle rig you can take out of the box and it is so easy to fly. It is so smooth. The truck can beat a fly at four on there. You don't need to do any tuning, any mucking around. You just take it out. It's going to work beautifully. And there's a lot of people out there. They don't want to have to be plugging into their computer too much programming, changing things, soldering things, you don't have to do any of that. So if that's you, this thing just works. It is convenient and it works beautifully and it's very robust as well. I think it's going to hold up very well in crashes, which is exactly what we want in a freestyle rig. Now moving on to the other side though, you are going to be paying for that convenience. So 300 bucks is a fair bit of money to spend and I feel like the value here, it's not quite as good as some of the cheaper models out there. You do kind of get what you pay for a little bit, but yeah, I feel like 300 bucks, it's still definitely getting up there, especially if you want to decide to build your own and you can put your own components in and other frames and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, the, the value side of things, it's just not quite as good as something like the Hawk 5, which is a lot cheaper. I think it's like 220 and that's more aimed at the races though. Now look, of course, this is for freestyles. So I like that it's got the 4S version a success version it's going to be a little bit heavier and i think it is going to suck down the juice a little bit more so you know take that your flight time is going to be a little bit shorter and also it is definitely not as fast as a racer if you want to do racing this is not the drone for you this is mainly for freestyle pilots who want silky smooth footage it holds its line very well it is beautiful it is graceful but it is not insane speed and the other part though i do wish they'd fix i don't like the gopro mount on the top that definitely needs to be changed send us out like a tpu mount or something that I can slide my GoPro in there, hold that nicely. That's that's probably the thing I want to change the most. I don't like the current configuration of the Velcro strap, all that sort of stuff. It's made to run a GoPro. It should be sent out with a TPU GoPro mount to hold that in place. 
But anyway, what do you guys think? Drop your comments down below. That's my Emacs Buzz Part 2 flight review. Share some love for Grumpy Trev uh, and the other boys out there. We had a blast flying this thing around. Do you think it'd be better suited with like a Cadex camera, like a Turtle or onboard recording? What do you guys think? How does it compare to your first freestyle rig? And what do you think about the price as well? And you know, all that sort of stuff. Let's meet down in the comments down below. Have that discussion. Subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy flying.